Hi guys, um, so as you can tell by the title, this video is sort of comparing Clopix and watercolours. Um, now, I know they're not remotely similar in the way you use them or how they look, um, but it's, it's basically because when I was doing the outline for this piece on some Bristol board, um, it was only going to be in Copic. Um, but partway through inking, I thought, no, oh, okay, this this might actually look better in watercolour. Despite the fact that I have very little experience with watercolour, I'm not very good at it, and I'm not very good with doing people or characters as it is. But my brain decided to give me a challenge, so I accepted because I'm strange like that. And subsequently, I ended up with two pieces. Um, of the same picture which sort of came out in two different styles so it yeah I, I was I was originally going to just use the one like whichever one came out better but I, I quite like different parts of both of them so I'll explain that at the end of the video once everything's finished um, but for now it's just sort of like I decided to start working on the watercolor piece um, so that because I'm very very impatient when it comes to watercolors i hate having to wait for different layers to dry so i figured if i worked on both pieces at the same time i could work on the copic piece whilst the watercolor was drying um which is why the video dots between the two a lot um i think i ended up with close to three hours worth of footage between the two pieces um, and i did cut some chunks out of it for this video um but yeah i i like the way both pieces came out and this character if you will is called the spring king because i was watching a bts season's greetings video on youtube um, where the guys played like a quiz game to win the title of each season's king and this one sort of, it sort of sparked a little idea in my head that it would be a really cute idea to turn each of those kings into a little character. So, the Spring King is based on Jungkook. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I'm sorry if it's not. Um, because he won the first king, which was Spring King, so, which is why I'm starting with Spring. And he, he was so happy about it that it just kind of made me think, oh, that he'd make a really cute character. Um, and because it's spring, I chose the colours of green and pink. Because when I was doing some research, um, I wanted to include a flower crown, but with flowers that um, bloomed during the Korean springtime. So I picked the azalea and cherry blossoms because they have pink tones to them, and I thought it would be a really nice contrast to green skin and green hair. Um, I, I did give him sort of like a, a pinkish toned shirt as well, but you can't really see that very well in in the video. Um, it might show up a little bit better once everything's finished and I sort of film some close-up parts. Um, but for now it just it, it stays looking really white. Um, by the time I'd got to the end of these, I had to stop um, with the watercolour one because the... I think I oversaturated the paper a bit and it was starting to tear in little places but I wasn't happy with the way both of them looked by the time I'd finished using each medium so I went off camera for a bit um, and decided to add pencils over the top of each one just to see how it would sort of bring the piece out a little bit better or if it would I, I wasn't sure if the pencils would work on the Bristol board they, they did a little bit but they weren't great um, so yeah, I'll add a snippet right at the end of the video for those, um, so that you can see the comparison of them. Um, but for now I will stop rambling, because I'm very aware that this is quite a long video anyway. Um, and I'll just leave you with some music, so I'll talk to you guys in a bit.
Okay, so this is as far as I got with it. These are the finished pieces. Um, I went back off camera and worked on them with my polychromos pencils for a bit because I just I couldn't leave them the way they were. They didn't look finished. <laughs> so I'm, I'm happier with where they are now and I'm really happy that I've completed them. Overall, I think I prefer the Copic marker version because that's where my strengths lie. That's, that's what I'm better at and I like the shadow behind them and the flat colours. But I prefer the contrast that I got with the watercolour in pencils. This one with the Copics looks a bit more washed out. Um, I prefer the hair, definitely prefer the hair in it. But if you look at the flowers on this one and the skin tones, it's just a better contrast. Um, if I redid these at any point, one definite change I would make is I wouldn't do black outlines. It's kind of dawned on me that it's an automatic thing for me to just pick up my black fine liners. Um, yeah, in future, I think that, like the next piece that I try, which will be the Summer King, I think I'm going to try outlining in pencils uh, because I have some of the Prismacolor Verithins, which I've noticed quite a lot of other people using for outlining. So I'm going to give that one a go with that concept. Um, but overall, I am very happy with these. Like I, I'm not good with watercolor. I'm not very good at doing people, especially the shading on the skin. But overall, I think I've made some improvements since I first started doing characters, um, which wasn't that long ago. So, yeah. I call this one a thumbs up, guys. Um, let me know which version you prefer. And do you prefer the Copic with pencils? Or do you prefer the watercolour with pencils? Let me know in the comment section down below. And, yeah. See how it goes with the next one. Okay, bye.